Hi guys. It is getting to be a hot, sticky summer day here in my new paradise in the uh, collapse of global industrial civilization here in West Bumblefuck, New Mexico on this hot, sticky, what are we? I believe we're up to Thursday, June 8th, 2017. So I've got to... Uh, dive into my weekly Dump the Trumpty Hive Roundup rant here to ruin my day and yours. But before I dive into that cesspool, just want to dive into my mailbag here on June 8th to see what's on the minds of our Humpty Dumpty tribes members and uh, not a rare occurrence, the name Guy McPherson showing up. Guy McPherson showing up. So I don't know whether this is going to be a prelude to, uh, to a rant that I recorded a couple of days ago and I'm deciding whether or not to hit the publish button on. We will see. Maybe this one will uh, convince me to do that. And guys, before I read this comment, I just want to say this is not an endorsement of this comment necessarily. I am a little bit conflicted on Guy McPherson, and, uh, but apparently this man is not. And I'm going to put the little dog down. And don't you go over there and start barking, please. He's after a mouse in the lumber pile. Uh, no barking. Okay, this comes from Alert Tribes member uh, Richard Beaumont. Richard Beaumont actually uh, responding to a, a video I had on Paul Beckwith. And uh, we, you probably know by now that Guy and Paul are in a little bit of a public spat here on uh, in cyberspace and so he was actually responding obviously I think I would guess taking sides with Paul Beckwith take it away Richard <clears throat> sorry to disappoint those looking toward apocalypse in their lifetimes time for a reality check the situation is bad, no shit Sherlock, but Guy McPherson is the flip side of denial. McPherson quote minds and distorts science to promote his extreme views, spreading his message of hopelessness. It is cowardice and a touch of malice dressed up as fake compassion. There you go. Thank you, uh, Richard, for weighing in on that. But more importantly, what Richard does for anyone in the tribe who is interested, he, uh, he sent me this blog post uh, titled, How Guy McPherson Gets It Wrong. And I'm going to put the uh, link to this long, exhaustive, uh, just absolute, full-out attack on Guy McPherson, um, more on Guy McPherson's work by a fellow named Scott Johnson. I've never heard of Scott. I might have to put him on my interview list. Scott Johnson describes himself as a geoscience educator, hydrologist, and freelance science writer. He is the science editor for climate feedback. Climate feedback. So uh, anyway, this is his long, exhaustive uh, survey of how Guy McPherson gets it wrong. There you go. And uh, anyway, guys, this is a full-out, 
fusillade, is that the right word? Just a full out rant on how, uh, where, where this fellow briefly lays out the central claims of Guy McPherson's position and reviews what the science really says. And uh, just to wrap, just to summarize what, what Scott thinks the science really says is one, positive feedbacks imply runaway global warming. Two, we will experience at least three to four degrees Celsius warming in the next couple of decades. And number three, on a four degree Celsius warmer planet, humans are dead. There you go. Anyway, uh, <laughs> as to, as he points here, bad, yes, extinction, no. And then he just goes and breaks it all down and he actually, what he does, I, I thought I was uh, bad. But, but after reading this attack, I feel like I am Guy McPherson's biggest cheerleader on the planet. What he does is he gives 35 examples, 35 examples of where, in his opinion, in his opinion, Guy McPherson wildly uh, misrepresents the climate science, where he literally quotes Guy McPherson, blah, 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 and rebuts him. 35 examples, and uh, which he says is not an exhaustive list. Good Lord. Uh, I did, as long as we're doing <coughs> quotes of the day, I, uh, I did like this quote, uh, I guess from an anonymous poster to uh, lately... A quote from another. Okay, this is is quoting Guy McPherson, I guess, according to this guy, and I assume it is. Lastly, a, a quote from another post of Guy McPherson's, which he explains why he thinks the collapse of human civilization cannot get here quickly enough, and this is why. Uh, just to make sure that Guy McPherson is one of my Humpty Dumpty tribe heroes. So uh, we are going to close with a quote from Guy, which I am cheering on. Take it away, Guy McPherson. Quote, Yet seemingly contrary to the simple, easy-to-reach conclusions, I work toward collapse largely unafflicted by the arrogance of humanism, I work on behalf of non-human species. Industrial civilization is destroying every aspect of the living planet, and I know virtually nobody who wants to stop the runaway train. Well, Guy, as much as you know me, you do know one other person. Uh, you do know one other person named Hambone Littletail who wants to stop the runaway train of global industrial civilization. Getting back to uh, Guy, yes, collapse will kill us, but our deaths are guaranteed regardless, unless I missed a memo. There you go. Uh, <laughs> whatever, uh, whatever trash you can talk about Guy McPherson, it, it is his bottom line that global industrial civilization is killing a living planet. Whether or not you believe, Guy, that we're all going to be dead in, in nine years or not. Uh, 
Anyway, I will decide whether I'm going to hit the publish button on my own uh, rant about Guy McPherson as I invite him to be interviewed by Hambone Little Tail. But anyway, I got to wrap this up. And uh, I guess that was kind of my comment of the day and my quote of the day combined. But uh, with that, I'm going to wrap this up because we have to dip into this week's Dump the Trump the Hive Roundup Rant for those of you with the stomach for it. Right back at you. Bye, guys.